two, one, and lift off. Confident. You buying that? Uh, let me explain. This is a team that has has overcome obstacles all year long. I mean, we're talking about a team that won with a starting pitcher bleeding on the mound after 21 pitches, and they still won a game. Just because they lost a game yesterday, the first of seven that they've played in the postseason, is no reason for people to start thinking the worst. They still have two games at home, and they have Josh Tomlin, who people would laugh about that in August. It's no longer a reason to laugh. The guy has put together five or six good starts now where I think he's only given up one home run. I think he's a veteran guy. They know that he can go out there at home and give them uh, a, a good quality start if worse comes to worse. And this is a, this is a uh, feast or famine Toronto lineup. It, they didn't suddenly catch fire in one game. I, I'm confident now, too. You've swayed me. <laughs> no, listen, I'm not going to sit here and say that anybody who's up three, what, were they going to sweep through the postseason? Of course they were going to lose a game. But for any team that would be up 3-1, that was up 3-0, I think they're about as precarious as you could be in that situation, which is you're still in control because their pitching is screwy. They're starting a rookie. They went Kluber on three days rest. He'd be short rest for game seven. Um, the Jays' rotation is on their rest, and I think maybe the Jays' bats woke up a little bit in game four. So are you nervous? No, you're not nervous, but for being up 3-1, you're about as this as, as you could be. 